Hello, my crafty friends and creatives from around the globe. Welcome or welcome back if you've been here before. I'm DJ and today we're in the studio making coin envelopes and these go together super quick. There's no template. There's hardly any measuring. And as a matter of fact, you can make these in a variety of sizes as soon as you just understand the simple way to make them and you can decorate them a number of ways. You can uh, put them in your journals. I like to use these in happy mail I put some washi on a playing card goes right in there you clip it um, and then you send it on its way inside your card uh, you can also use these as tags in your uh, pockets in your journals you just glue it down maybe fold the flap over this way and decorate it and use this as a pocket or you can fill it up with goodies put some M&Ms in there for the grandkids and get them on their way we're gonna make a bunch of them today in a variety of sizes using different types of paper so stay tuned all right, the supply list for this is pretty basic and it's varied. So I'm using this uh, really cheap tracing paper. And uh, what I do is I do a couple of things. So um, this one, I actually, I crumple them up and then this one I put in a coffee dye bath. So just some coffee and some water and I uh, dip it in, get both sides covered, and then I, it's been nice here, so I just hang them out on a line outside to dry. Um, I, can't, I can do tracing paper in the oven, but I keep it really low, like 160. I think that's the lowest my oven goes. So you can, you can um, put this in the oven, but I would be very, very careful and keep an eye on it. Don't just look, set it and forget it because it could, it's got a substance on it. Uh, to make it tracing paper so you don't want to leave it in there unattended. The other thing you can do is um, crumble it up and take some of your um, oxides or your distress inks or any kind of spray, antiquing spray or whatever you have and put it on there and then just kind of rub it in and get it all grungy. Um, and yeah, uh, if you don't have any tracing paper, though, um, this is fairly cheap and you can get it on Amazon. I'll put it in my favorite things store, my favorite things page, if I can remember. But um, I think it's really super cheap. But if you can't get it, there's a hundred other things you could use, right? Uh, this is a tear off from a, a paper grocery bag. I have some other coffee dyed regular copy paper. Um, there's more tracing paper. Uh, this is parchment paper, so you could use some parchment paper, and um, this crumbles up really nice too, and it's got a shiny side. Deli paper will do the same thing. Uh, this is a retail bag, so I could just uh, leave this as it is and kind of cut it up and use it, and I think I will do one of these in this video. All right, super simple instructions. Let's get to it. I'm going to use this one here. What I want to do, this is a letter size eight and a half by 11. I'm going to cut it down and each of these uh, squares, now you can obviously uh, change the size to meet any kind of size that you want to make it. You could make it out of this full sheet of paper if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to make this a square and I'm going to make it eight and a half, I mean, I'm sorry, five and a half inches by five and a half inches. So all I'm going to do is put it on my cutter here. Um, on the eight and a half inch side and I'm going to cut it down to five and a half the long way this way I get a really long strip that I can keep for other stuff and then I'm just going to flip it and then I'll get two five and a half so we can make two envelopes out of this one and um, while we're at it we'll do one of these so we'll do the same thing and you can make this longer or shorter or whatever let's make this one six by five and a half this way I can get two equal out of this page that uh, we'll do one out of this bag so let's see five and a half is there let me flip this so I get a better straight edge here do this save that for something else just gonna cut off the bottom I have a ton of these bags so not worried about using it and then I'm going to go five and a half this way. all right so that's enough for now right oh I got two here so I'm gonna just cut this down the middle okay that's that right super easy easy peasy 
get your bone folder. Let's do this on this one. Uh, what you want to do is just fold it over and I'm, I'm folding it over about an inch and a half. Okay. But you can eyeball this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if you want, if you want it centered, you can kind of bring this side over as well and see where it fits. And as long as you have some overlap here that you can glue, you're good to go. So we'll just overlap this here and you want to get a really good straight edge here. You want to be able to see that line. It's more visible on some papers than others, but um, you want to make it really crisp so that you can see it well. All right. And then we're going to just fold over that other side, making sure that it overlaps enough for us to have a glue line there because we have to glue that center seam. All right. Super easy. Um, and then I'm just going to measure down for the size of my flap. And again, I'm, I'm just eyeballing it. We don't need to get into any kind of crazy measurements, but um, this is about an inch and a quarter if you wanted to, you know, kind of measure. And then I'm just going to fold this one up slightly smaller because this is going to be the bottom flap. So this is about a half inch. I'm going up and again, real nice crisp lines. You want to know where those lines are because we got to cut this. All right. So now I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. And let me just crisp this one up a little. But in each of the corners, we have a little rectangle. This one looks more like a square up here at the top um, that we have to cut off. So we're going to cut these four corners out. Uh, let's just do them. And I go just slightly down from that line where we folded it, just slightly down. And then I, I cut into where the two lines meet. And that gives me kind of like a, a little, when, when you fold it down, it kind of gives you a little space above the, where the fold is. So you can put stuff in and out. I just like the way that looks. You could cut it straight across. This one we want to keep fairly straight and in line with that line. So we're going to go ahead and cut that. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going down a little and cutting into where those lines meet, come down on this line like so. And then on the bottom, uh, you can, you can go down a little, doesn't matter here. You do want to stay on or above that line. And then you want to cut straight up that other crease. Same thing here. Same thing here. Like so. All right. And now what we're going to do now that we have the four um, corners cut out, we're going to fold this in half. So our top pieces meet corner to corner and you don't have to do this part I just like the rounded corners I take my scissors and I'm gonna just round this corner as best I can and then I'm gonna go down to the bottom I'm gonna do the same thing and these go together really quick I love how fast they are I do have a die for this but sometimes this is actually a lot faster now you want to just take your glue we're gonna fold in the way we want it to line up and then we're just going to put a bead of glue and don't go over because you don't want it sticking to the inside of your envelope. So just be a little careful. Don't be too heavy handed here and just glue that in place. And then what you can do is kind of put your fingers in here to make sure it doesn't stick down to that center, right? Like that. I can feel some glue in there. So you want to make sure your glue is pretty dry before you kind of put anything in there or put anything on top of it. You don't want to glue your envelope shut. And then here on the bottom, I'm just putting a bit of glue as well. And we're folding that bottom up and bada bing, bada boom, there we go. <laughs> we have a fun little coin envelope and you can decorate this any way that you like. Uh, but as you can see, you can probably kick out a bunch of these. So let's do another one. Let's do one out of this. Fold and fold, make those nice and crisp. Coin envelopes are a staple in <laughs> journals, so I love these. I also make them as part of my grungy stuffed pockets uh, product from my website, so I always give one of these filled with goodies so it's super easy to throw them together and just cut and 
little, a couple lines here, so make sure I don't cut the wrong line. The bag had some factory folds. Um, this one, I'm gonna go in. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna know if you're like a millimeter off on your cutting. <laughs> Only you'll know. Only you'll know. And then we just round the corner. Round the corner. And once you get the hang of this, super quick. Super quick. So we're just going to glue this here. This paper is a little less love in that glue and then here like so and we have another one so there you go super fun very easy to do you can make a bunch of them you can put them in your journals and um use them for pockets use them for goodie bags to tuck away in secret spaces and put some fun stuff inside. Uh, you can use them for coin envelopes. <laughs> you can use them for so many things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make a bunch of coin envelopes, put them in your journals, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!